good morning welcome back to easy off grid it is june 24th it's actually not morning anymore it's about 10 after 11. i was up a bit late last night probably 1 30 in the morning something like that um <laughs> i had a late lunch yesterday which you know i didn't i wasn't hungry till later at night, so I didn't end up cooking dinner until about 9.30, I barbecued out here. Um, but in all that time, I was just out here waiting for the laundry to be done and listening to some music and chilling out here with the dog. Um, so yesterday, I think I ended the video with, uh, I think I'd said I had only done one load of laundry in the washer and my voltage on my batteries were still at 12.6 after it was finished. Well, I, I originally was going to use the generator while I was doing a couple more loads of laundry. Um, but I ended up not doing that. Um, after that first wash load I did, when I threw the clothes in the dryer, I uh, I had the generator going to charge the batteries, and as soon as I kicked the dryer on, it would trip out my generator. It was too much of a initial surge from the dryer. So I ended up not charging my batteries off of my generator. I just turned the generator off. And I just wanted to see how well my batteries would would do uh, doing a couple loads of laundry in, at night in the dark with no solar. So I ended up running full uh, two full loads of laundry, washer and dryer. Uh, took a few hours. And something interesting I learned about my new uh, upgraded battery bank. <clears throat> I. Uh, I don't know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I increased my battery bank size from uh, 10 batteries, I think it was, to 16 batteries. And I never really got a chance to really see how much that's helped me out, but uh, I think last night kind of kind of showed me. So um, the interesting thing about the battery bank is <clears throat> with the added uh, capacity, the battery voltage at night will drop down to 12.5. It'll dip into 12.4. And it will just stay there for hours. Um, and that's what I did last night while I was doing all my laundry. Um, the battery bank never got below 12.4 volts the entire time that I was running both the washer and the dryer. Um, and it just, it just held there. I had the, the bug zapper going. I was out here listening to music, I had the lights on out here, everything. Um, I never dipped below 12.4, so I think that added capacity for whatever reason, it, it allows the, the bank to drop to 12.4, 12.5, and then it just holds it there for hours and hours and hours with, with uh, pretty decent loads on it. So um, once I ended my laundry, the voltage uh, I think at one point it, it dipped to 12.3 uh, real briefly just before the laundry was finished and once they shut off it went up back up to resting at 12.4 and then popped up to 12.5 so the added capacity on my battery bank has allowed me uh, a lot longer of a draw off my system <clears throat> without it getting down to uh, what I would consider low battery level. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So yeah, I did two complete loads of laundry off of my battery bank last night uh, with no help from my generator. And I still had plenty of, plenty of storage or power left in my battery bank. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know uh, how that ended up working out. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way the uh the battery bank is working at this point in time um so pretty cool um no 
no gnats right now. They've all disappeared, which is, is uh, great. No more eating bugs. It's a little warm. Uh, it's like 78 degrees. It's probably going to get up in the mid 80s today. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'm probably not going to get it all done today. Um, I'm actually in there. Uh, what do you call it? Working on the video from yesterday on my computer. So uh, you wouldn't believe it, but that actually takes quite a bit of time to, uh, what do you call it? Edit, export, upload, all that crap. It takes, it takes hours. So um, it's just, uh, just the way it is right now until things uh, speed up in the future as far as uh, processing and upload so um, yeah I've just been working on that for a little bit and it's, it's still gonna be a couple hours before it's done before it's actually on YouTube so um, I'm gonna get some shoes on because I'm just out here walking around in slippers but um, I'm gonna start working on those short videos I was talking about in yesterday's video just to get those out of the way so I can get down to some work here. So, all right guys, uh, that's what I'm gonna do for now. And it'll probably be later on today when I get back with you on anything that I've actually done around here aside from recording videos. So, um, oh yeah, real quick, uh, two loads of laundry. I think in yesterday's video the water level was down to here something like that now it's here so um, this thing isn't full by any means I don't know if you can see the water level it's down to about right here I ended up having to take the drain hose from the washer out of there because it, the tip of this thing was just touching the water and for whatever reason my washer didn't want to drain completely when that uh, the end of that hose was in uh, submerged in water so I had to put it in another barrel so my uh, clothes would spin out properly um, anyways um, what else I think that's about it um, this tank Nah, it's more than a third full like I said in yesterday's video. It's probably half full still. There's quite a bit of gas in there So that thing is so efficient on propane. It's ridiculous like it Just runs and runs and runs goes forever on one bottle of propane um, I don't know why I Don't know. It's just it's so efficient to run a dryer off that bottle. I never thought it would last that long but it does so um, yeah I got a lot of work to do I've got a I brought up some paint to paint that stand for the water tote and then I'm gonna throw another coat of paint on this because it's looking kind of weathered and I'm gonna paint <laughs> the tote itself with some more Plasti Dip um, man, I got so much stuff to do out here in so little time. So, all right, I'm going to get off here and get to recording some uh, other short videos for you guys. All right, guys, see you later.